right, ladies and gentlemen, but are back at it again. Uh, Jay here, also known as Fox, couldn't uh, remember. What are we going to say for me intro there? I just want to talk a little bit today about Diablo 4 um, and the state of things and what I think of the expansion and whatnot. Now, I will say straight ah, off the bat, good. I'm kind of glad that I only bought the base version of the game. If we have a look at the store here. Let me show you more, Traveller. So we've got the bundles basically. The I bought the standard, as you can see. So we've got the deluxe. Which comes with like some wings and get a dog. Pick up your stuff off the floor. You get the, the hand to walk at. Uh, you get this armor piece that looks pretty much just like the armor that's already in the game. And uh, you get the battle pass, right? So if you're going to buy the battle pass, yeah, fair enough. It's worth it if you get in the battle pass. All right, no worries. Ultimate, yeah, again, choice. just more bump. Now, the interesting thing is, for everyone who bought this, who's now logged in today, they're now like, oh, yeah, you know your limited edition mounts? Well, here's, here's some better ones for you uh, to spend even more money on. Um, I think it's kind of fucking crazy. Pardon my French. Um, Mounts are not available until the completion of the quest done in favor. They've actually put a disclaimer on that for people that have just started playing the game. Obviously, they've had some complaints about people buying mounts and whatnot and not being able to use them. But I just find it kind of crazy that I've logged in today oh, and they're like, God. here's a lot of new mounts that are just actually better than the ones that were already in, that, that we've offered you on the collectors so not only have you bought the base game probably collector's edition they spent another 75 80 80 dollars on your collectors for your mounts and your whatnot and then they're like hey that's not enough log in today and buy our legends of warcraft stuff where you can Same get selection. all the bloody i mean at this point yeah the amount of cosmetics they're selling and the price of them why why is this game not free to play that's um, a bold choice it's a little bit disgusting. I mean, I did want to log in today and just say, hey, this is what I think of it so far. This is what I've been up to. You know, should you buy it, should you not buy it? Thoughts and feelings from uh, sort of a casual's perspective. I'm not hardcore in the game by any means. But um, I will say, like, the first maybe three or four days, I had nothing but problems with the game, stuttering, lagging. Um freezing, crashing, all sorts. I mean, that seems to be alleviated now from, from sort of the patches that they put forward. See, there's a bit of a, bit of a freeze there, transitioning uh, between buildings and stuff. The campaign so far has been okay. The new class is okay. Like, it's, it's not terrible. Like, it's a fun class and, you know, I like... I do like the new area. Like, it's not, it's not as terrible as I first thought. It is a little bit bigger. There are a couple of little different regions to it. And uh, it, is, it is a little bit bigger than I, um, than I first gave it credit for. Which is great. The gameplay is pretty good. The new class I'm quite fond of. Um, I've not really like found any good builds or anything. Or I'm just sort of going through the paces. The difficulty scaling seems a little bit more on point this time around. I don't know if it's just the build that I've gone with the spirit walker i would definitely say it's worth about 30 pound in my opinion uh it is 34.99 currently uh, but i'm just really really starting to get Welcome cheesed back. off with them walking back on this you know oh we're gonna have plenty of stuff in the game the cosmetics aren't gonna be the be and end all they're a nice to have not a need to have and then they're pretty much making every piece of gear in the game just look terrible and uh I mean, why is this not available in game to, like, unlock? Like, why do I have to pay? Like, literally. I mean, let's have a look how much is it is. 2800 I mean, it's £20, for God's sake. £20 for a skin. I mean, 9 99 at a push. Come on. This is just ridiculous at this point. Ah, very good. 
And it's just crazy because everything that's in the game just pales in comparison. But then it's like... I don't know. I, I just really feel that they are taking the mick with this now. You know, oh, look at this. You could have... You could have... Um, you could have your Hunter accessory on your back. I mean, why, why is that not just an option? I mean, just for the sake of the emote... Um, sort of your death... Your death headstone and this... I mean, it's just crazy. It's like it's like nine pound, like nine pound for that. A powerful calling. And do they look good? Yeah, they look great. Yeah, they look so good. In fact, that I'm wondering how much time have they actually put on the ones in game. So, I mean, the cosmetics aside, uh, it's really put a dampener on things for me personally. Um. I do think there's some value to be had here. I do think the 2.0 update is very good. Um, some of the graphical changes, especially on the PC side. I've not had a chance to check it out, actually, on the PS5. There's some good stuff here, uh, but my recommendation, like it was prior to this, it's just, uh, just get the base game and enjoy it. Uh, I really feel that Blizzard are starting to really set the mick when it comes to these cosmetics. And I think the only way they're going to stop doing it is if people just actually put the foot down and just buy the base upgrade. Like, literally, play it on Game Pass, get a cheap Game Pass key off a website, and literally just buy the base expansion. For me, that is the optimal way to play this game. I really do not feel that you're getting any additional value. And unless you are an absolute hardcore this is the only game that I'm going to play .com type of dude or dudette. Then don't even worry about it. But that's been my two penneth. I am going to be doing more update videos further along. As you can see, I am currently only level 35. I'm going to be making another video. I'm going to be trying to get to max level today. Um, and sort of share my thoughts and feelings on the full experience of the ride going along. I've heard a lot of people, including Asmongold, saying that the campaign is rather mid. Now, I kind of feel that if they weren't overcharging for everything, would people feel differently about it? So, like, it, if the update itself was just, like, 19.99, let's just say 20 bucks, 25 bucks, all in, yeah, you're going to get your update, you're going to get your cat mount and all the rest of it, and they give that across the board, I think they'd have such a warmer response from the community but at the end of the day, the only people that matter are the shareholders. We know this by now. And I just hope moving forward, this doesn't hurt it. Because we're essentially, PoE 2 is just around the corner. And there's going to be comparisons made. I'm going to be making comparison videos um, about the two. And we're going to see how it goes moving forward. I do feel the mercenaries are just attacked on thing. The story itself is pretty good. Uh, the the cutscenes and whatnot are very good so far. Like I said, I will be doing an overarching sort of review uh, on my findings once I hit max level. But my initial thoughts and feelings on should you be buying Vessel of Hatred, in my opinion, if you're just going to get the base version, then yeah. But if you're considering buying any cosmetics, any upgraded packs, the premiums, or wasting money on the seasonal battle pass, I don't know. I really just don't see it. I mean, my biggest issue is if we do have a look at the battle pass here. So I'm level 35. Bear that in mind. I've only done five levels of the battle pass and the only free thing I get is a pirate outfit. I mean, what the hell? You're paying for this and they literally don't even want you to enjoy the battle pass. They literally want you to go out. I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, granted, this is okay um, as a battle pass reward. Um, but the actual effort it takes to actually unlock this type of stuff, I don't know. It just feels like the really, like, core, core game armor sets look terrible. Battle pass ones are okay. And then if you really want your character to look good, you've got to go to the premium store. And for me, these are mechanics and things that are hard-baked into free-to-play games. I don't think we should be paying for this game. 
I mean, at the end of the day, you don't pay for Diablo Immortal. It's on a similar similar sort of echelon and scale. It's, uh, it's getting a bit silly. But they're my initial thoughts and feelings on whether you should be buying Vessel of Hatred. I will be doing more updates. Do forgive this being sort of a very short and sort of ranty video. But I just wanted to get something out there. All right. Thanks for watching. If you did get any value out of today's content, comment, like, subscribe, ring that pulse notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred video. Thanks for watching.